Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to show you what I was working on today. I have um, these envelopes that I made. These are the long, um, they're long envelopes. And what I did was I uh, cough, uh, yeah, coffee dyed them and I used the stencil on them with some Lindy's sprays and I think they turned out really pretty and this is what I've been using to um, send my paper my stenciled papers in to my customers so thank you guys if you guys have uh, received your papers you can you know make one of these with me so what I ended up doing was I coffee dyed and stenciled both sides and then I put it out in the sun and it's nice and crispy. I love the feel of it. And so then I decided I was gonna fold it up and then I cut the bottom so I could have a pocket here. And then I think I was gonna do like a gusset pocket maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have two pockets there and then one up here. And I was gonna use my new Kit Blanca's Reflections, the um, digital kit that I created and uh, make like a little stuffed envelope. So that is where I'm at. I thought this was the envelope that was in my kit and comes with this little note card and I printed on both sides. So this is the envelope here the lilies on it and so I think I'm gonna put that together and that's just like an easy embellishment that I can tuck in and then of course I have my large tags here and my postcard so I could tuck those in and that'd be fun and then I cut out one of the papers and I was going to actually cover this, which I won't be able to see that, but I think I still want that to there. So I'm going to sew this and then glue that on to the front of this pocket. And let's see what else am I going to do. I have some of the ephemera here from the kit. I think I'm gonna decorate or use here to decorate. Maybe I'll do a little pocket and tuck in a few goodies. Maybe something like that. That'll be fun, right? And then I cut this cute little teapot. I might put that there too. I'm not sure. But you know, that'll be fun to create and decorate. Oh, this would be cute too if I put the little perfume bottle on there. Oh, you're not even seeing this. Sorry, guys. I had the teacup here. So sorry. But then I kind of like the tea. I mean, this perfume bottle. That would be cute. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. And I have some laces I want to put on here for sure. I need laces. And then, who was I watching? I saw Yvonne Preston. She made a tag book made out of envelopes. And I really liked it. It was really pretty. And she said she got her inspiration from Ruby and Pearl. So I went over to Ruby and Pearls. I don't know why I'm missing all these videos, but I just must be in my own little world. And so I was super inspired by her tag book and she shows how to do it. So I think I'm going to make one myself. And this is the background paper and I put it onto this tag. And this tag is from graphics 45 it's a super long tag but I didn't make it quite as long so I cut off about 
an inch and a half or so off of the bottom. And I was gonna make a tag book to put in here. So I'm gonna use some ephemera to decorate this. And yeah, so that's what I've been working on here, you guys. So let me get this sewn up and then I can glue that on there. Okay, so I got my pocket and everything sewn. I'm gonna glue this on. So pretty, it's starting to come together a little bit. All right, so put this in here or something like that. That'd be cute. Maybe I'll put it in this pocket. So for this, so I didn't see the inside white. I think I had made, I cut another piece open for this. Okay, so um, I kind of left off with this yesterday and I just couldn't get back into it. I had to take care of some things at home and so I thought today I'd work on creating this little tag book. I kind of feel like I want to make that. So I have some varieties of these um, embossed papers, some collaging. The embossed papers remind me of the course that I purchased from Amity Bloom. She uses these in her journals, and I just thought that that really made such a difference. And I noticed that um, Ruby and Pearl did that as well. So what I did was I cut a couple of pieces of chipboard. This is like really heavy duty chipboard. Uh, if you don't have that, you can put like two cereal boxes together, you know, make it thick. And she used um, Ruby and Pearl. She used the uh, cabinet cards, which are really thick, but I didn't want to use my cabinet cards because I really liked them. The ones that I purchased were not very cheap. So I just thought this would be something I could do. And so I made the tag like I showed you out of the Graphic 45 tag die. And then I was going to go ahead and collage the rest of it. So I used one of the background pages out of my digital kit called Blanca's Reflections. And I was going to go ahead and collage. I just pulled some stuff out of my drawer of papers that I used for collaging. And I'm going to go ahead and just start doing that. Just taking, I probably didn't need to do this, but I'll go ahead and glue that on. Go ahead and take some of this and glue it on. This is super thin paper from dictionary paper. I think that um, Doreen had shared part of this digi uh, dictionary paper with me. And so this is one of the sheets. I will probably go ahead and sew this. Let's see if, I don't know, maybe it won't fit through my, need, my needle. I don't know. This is pretty thick chipboard, but I have sewn through pretty thick materials, but we'll see. If not, then we won't. <laughs> 
this is some tissue paper from Hobby Lobby. So I hope everybody's doing well. Doing pretty good today, feeling a lot better. Still not 100% on the energy level yet, but moving quite along. Went on a walk this weekend and got out of breath, but I made it. <laughs> I made it, you guys. Woohoo! Okay. Let's see, let me add some of this music paper. Ah, I need to cut that off. Go ahead and glue that on here. I hope that you... I must have moved my camera thing because I keep getting out of frame. just need to relax. I feel very anxious today. I don't know why. Oh. I know a lot of people suffer with anxiety and um, it's no fun, but sometimes we have to do things that, uh, like I had two appointments today and I was feeling so overwhelmed. I don't know why, uh, but I was. And um, things that trigger my anxiety is like having to be at a lot of places throughout the week. So I've had to like really slow my schedule down. So I have Easter service this week that I'm going to be doing. I'm actually going to be in the choir this weekend. And so... I have practice Thursday and I have service on Sunday. So then I was trying to do lots of other things and I get overwhelmed when that occurs. So I just called and I moved them to another day because another week actually. And, you know, sometimes you just have to do that. I hate to, you know, let people down, but sometimes you just have to um, listen to your body and be like, okay, can't do it. Just can't do it today. So, let's see. I could have torn those off, but I was not thinking because I was talking to you guys. So, you know multitasking is not my forte <laughs> as far as like talking and you know chewing gum that kind of thing <laughs> let's see let me put some of this in here ledger Just 
trying to get on here and relax and enjoy what I'm doing instead of stressing about things. No reason to stress about things. Whew. Got a lot of other things on my mind too. But anyway, to talk about that. We're going to talk about crafty stuff and creating pretty things and um, finding joy in that. Oh, I was going to tear it. See? Come on now. <laughs> All right. So that little piece was coming up. And so was that. So what she was doing here was kind of making it like a, kind of like how you do your envelope flips, you know, where you open it up and you open it up like that, but different heights of the tags. So, ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's see, do we want to add some pretties on here oh I printed out my little blooming frames this is a digital in my shop as well and I made mini frames as well as the larger ones so I I made the mini ones in case I wanted to use those in the collaging so I thought that would be fun but we'll see if any of these go with it I'm gonna probably use this we can add a bit of this. Wouldn't that be nice? Like a little washi piece. And I actually want this here, I think. And maybe I'll add a little bit here of this. I'm going to rip this, put that here, I think I messed up on the other side, so I have some of the digital papers on the other side as well. Do that there. I'm just trying to cover up this word fraud. I don't like that. It's a negative word. <laughs> and we don't need any negative words over here. So let's go ahead and put this like that. And then I can cut that off. Bye-bye, fraud. We don't need you. <laughs> wow, it's already 5.30. Unreal where the time goes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So there we go. Our little collage page. And we got to do the back. And we got to do the back of this. We want it to be cohesive, right? Okay. Just making sure there's not some ugly words. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and collage. 
over here. I'll do a piece like this. Prettiness here. Take this on. And apply that on the side. Ledger. Not sure about that. Oh, I have some of my background papers. just got home and is going to take a shower. That guy plays really hard. <laughs> so when he gets home, he's a mess. <laughs> he heard I was on the doing the video so he didn't didn't say much. <laughs>
on there maybe like one of these oh i think i have a numbers could do a number one Or a little heart or a little flower. Those are cute. Or even one of these. Well, we can add to it, but let's get them all covered. All right, so we've got that, right? It's gonna go like that. Hmm. Maybe I don't like this there because the other one is already there, gonna have that, and so I don't want that there. Let's pick something else. Let's see. Maybe I will just do another piece of this paper. And that way, it'll be a neutral background. See? It's already got a lot of sticky on it. That gives us a more neutral palette here that we can build on. Maybe, let's see, okay. Go ahead and do the same for these. Probably gonna go down here and do uh, spend a little bit of time with the little guy. He, he he loves chatting with me when he gets home. He finds it fun. We we uh, talk about the day and just kind of get silly together. Okay, there we go, and let's see what else. 
more of this paper. I really like how this looks. this let's put that one paper here some glue neighbor got a dog now and um my dog and it is like the most calm dog you've ever seen in your life and it barely makes a noise and my dog is a yappy yapperton <laughs> so ah, now we're like in a battle for who can go outside right because their dog just chills and goes outside, doesn't bark at anybody. I've never seen a dog that could chill, okay? <laughs> and um, she can't handle it because the dog won't give her any attention. <laughs> so she's barking and barking and barking at it. And it's like, oh my gosh, you just need to go outside and do your business. And that's all, you know. But we have had her on this schedule where she, you know, she would go out and... I wouldn't let her go out, but till a certain time so she would get used to it and not be begging to go out every time we walked in the room, right? So now with all her friends everywhere, it's like the neighbor has a dog, um, two houses down has a dog, across the pond has a dog. I mean, it's like everybody's got dogs now and oh my gosh, it's it can get crazy. All right, so that's going to go open that way. And then this one, we got one more to do, guys. Almost done. And then we can get to decorating. So this is super fun. Ah. Oop, that's upside down. Let's get this thing on. Where do we want that one? Oh, I kind of like that one. All right, we'll do that one. So, yeah, they kind of just let the dog hang outside because the dog is not bothering anybody, you know? But then... It's like we have to wait till they let that dog in so that our dog can go out. So she's completely off her schedule now. <laughs> and all she wants to do is go outside and play with her friends <laughs> and yap at them across the pond. <laughs> oh. And then, oh man, it's so funny because there's these two squirrels. Well, it was one squirrel, now it's two. And they'll mess with her. So, like, they'll play in the tree. And 
they'll like, I'm not kidding you, the, the thing, the squirrel's going like this so that the dog doesn't hear. And then they take off right when they know they're about to safety, like whether it's outside the fence or, or um, you know, just the right height of the tree. And, um, and she runs and tries to get them. And, oh my gosh, it is comical. It's like these little squirrels know exactly what they're doing. It's really funny. So that's my entertainment. <laughs> Go outside, watch the squirrels antagonize the dog and um, watch uh, my dog go crazy at the the neighbor's dog she can't handle it he's not or she's not paying attention to her <laughs> oh. the things that amuse you when you get older elbowing it. I could add an envelope in here, but we'll see. Let's do this right here. Just add this little piece. Okay, actually, I think I might. a thin strip of this if you don't mind. I'm going to use this since this paper is a little difficult. Okay, now we have fun pages. Okay, so this is gonna go like that, and this is gonna go like that. So we need a pretty tag, right? This, this is a tag book. Let me get all this stuff, it's driving me nuts. These little bit, bits, they gotta go bye bye. Okay, now we need a little tag. So we have some of these that we could use. Oh, that's a pretty one. We have this we could use for the front too. Wouldn't that be pretty? Uh -huh. So we could either put this on and make a little pocket or pocket for the tag. Mm, what do we want to do? 
So do I want this one or do I want this one for the front? I think I might use this one because it's smaller. And then we can always add the tag, right? To the, we'll clip it in. How about that? I think I'm gonna need to do this over here and then clip this over here. No, I like the white showing. Do I make this a flip out? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so now since I never can make up my mind, I'm just going to clip these on. All right, so let's clip these on as a possibility. And then on this side, we could do one of these tags and we'll have to cover the back. One of these would be nice too, wouldn't it? Okay, now it's starting to happen. Now I'm starting to have fun, you guys. Definitely starting to have fun. I really like this. This is super de duper. We want to see that. Oh, we could add it to the tag, maybe? Hmm. We have these cute little flowers. And Lene loves these flowers. If you haven't checked out Lene, she's doing some designing for me. And she's using this digital kit. So um, I will leave the link below to her channel. She is Grace and Lace here on YouTube. And you can check her out and go show her some love. Let's see, we could use one of these frames or this. Hmm. This is cute. Oh my goodness, the possibilities are endless. All right, so now you see where we're going, guys. I am going to um, go downstairs and give some love to my little one. And I will be back, hopefully, quickly to finish this up. If not, I will be back soon, okay? All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my videos. I really appreciate you all for showing me so much love and kindness and support. And um, I will talk to you guys real soon. All right, bye for now.